Hey there, welcome back to the vlog. So you may remember probably about 10 or so episodes ago, I'll put the link up here, I inherited a free GoPro and I you know, was saying at the time that we were pretty sure it wasn't ours and we told the people trying to give it to us that it wasn't ours and when they refused to take no for an answer, it's like, fine, we'll put it aside. When you decide that you, know, you remembered that it's not ours, you can have it back. It took just over a month but they finally remembered that it's not ours. So <laughs> it went back today. <laughs> like seriously, you couldn't make this stuff up. Everything else that's going on right now, there's lots and lots of packing going on. I don't know if you can see too much now, actually you can't see anything from this angle, but um, it's amazing in Toronto. So one thing I don't fully understand is how you can put stuff out on the street and magically it disappears. Growing up in England where you put stuff out on the street and weeks later it's still sitting there, Things in Toronto just disappear like you know one man's junk is another man's treasure even in the pouring rain people were taking You know chairs office desks uh, You name it anything that we put out as uh, junk that we did not want to pay to move Yeah, it all disappeared like today the bottom of my driveway is totally clear <laughs> Like it's amazing. It's it's sort of, like it's one of those moments I really wish with hindsight now I had actually put a camera out with uh, like a time-lapse or something because you'll see us load it up and it's like little ants come in and everything disappears again. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so that, that's pretty much that. Um, I also, uh, I'm going to raise something for the first time. So I've been working on a little project on the side. Um, and it's, it's a banking related website. It's called howsafeismybank.com. So basically the idea originally behind it um, and I'm not too sure where it's going right now because there's a lot of conflicting forces at play but the original idea was that uh, you have a chart almost like a billboard chart and each month there would be here's a list of banks and they were sorted by a standard set of tests that were run against each bank and the idea is you could see you know here's the safest bank all the way down to the less safe banks and then at the bottom would be the least safe bank according to these tests. Long story short it got spread to four countries in three continents and there's over 100 banks in the system. 30 of those banks are Canadian and where I'm at right now is I, I put up some of the banks but I had to take some of it down because you know it just from a legal standpoint until I know exactly where things stand I don't want to get myself in too much hot water uh, you know you can't go around saying that this bank's crap <laughs> so I have to basically be careful about what I'm doing however the flip side of it uh, beyond what the customer sees the banks they can purchase the frameworks so they you know if they get a bad score they can look at the framework find out what the tests are and then improve their infrastructure accordingly so they score better the next time round. then also the third customer would be the regulators law enforcement and governments basically and they get the logs that come out of the run each month for each country this is where I seem to be having some success so I now have my first country uh, that is interested in coming on board uh, from the regulator side. They're very, very interested in what we were doing. Yeah, I haven't said too much uh, to them about where the inspiration came from, but uh, needless to say, I'm not too informed with Canadian banks. So anyway, um, so that's that going on. And then uh, what else is going on right now? Yeah, really, it's just all about the house. Uh, well, I've got a very, very tight timeline to quick get it up for sale and uh, you know get everything closed. So. So, um, yeah, pretty much just working on that right now. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there for the moment. Speak to you soon. Cheers. Bye.